And good afternoon, folks. Admiral Preparedness here. Today we're doing a little show and tell on a how-to. As we talked about earlier, uh, recycling things that we can not end up in the landfill. Here's a good example of such a item you can refill and reuse. Uh, I'm going to put these guys right here, which are something you're going to need during an SHTF event. Uh, and from these guys, notice the same height. Give a little extra inches there. Now, the inside of this container is metalized, so the moisture can't get in if properly stored and sealed. When this product was originally made, there was a metal uh, pull tab that went around here. Uh, now, these guys here fit perfectly inside that hole. Now, if you notice, there's a little bit of a gap between the interior and that item. So, what we can do is take these guys, which we all know what these are. This one happens to be a conditioner. That can go in that hole. This is hand soap or bath soap, whichever one you want to call it. This one's shampoo, which can go alongside of it. You see that in there. You see the two items. Now, shampoo, conditioner, and I think there's a body wash. You got these that'll, during a vacation we took. Yes, this is what's the shower gel. Now, also what's in here is a comb. Comes in real handy when you're having to get out of a place. Once again, repeat that process. Home. It's always two. You have your soap. And then you put your lid on it. And now you have a easy to transport or easy to barter item that you can use. SHTF. Being a uh, paper material held on with a hot glue type of adhesive, it peels off rather easily with just a little bit of effort. That way, when you're putting it in storage, you're not finding yourself wanting to understand how to conceal it. Now, this put in a corner somewhere is going to be concealed in plain sight. And the best way to prevent any prying eyes is to place a tape material, clear of course, around the outside. Now this will last in this container for a very, very, very long time. When you know the contents of it, it can be used for barter. Now let's say, as a scenario goes, the lights go out, people are in the dark, the water pump company, the water pressure is gone, and you're standing there wanting to help out. Now you may have accumulated a large 
number of these containers that now you can use as barter. Two combs, two toilet tissues, bath soap, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Uh, that's going to give somebody the humanitarian items that they need and they'll wander about, hopefully go about their way. Now you may be able to get a couple eggs, maybe a live chicken, some fresh vegetables, or any other commodity item that you could you could literally trade for these two rolls of toilet paper and those toiletries. Remember, barter is going to be number one because I'm not going to accept gold or paper money because that's exactly what's inside of here. I'd rather wipe my my you know what than that uh, stuff with president's pictures on it because that's about what they're going to be worth. And that shows you how you can go about saving money on your own. You guys have a good day. Admiral Preparedness here. Take care of your country. Take care of your families. The only two things you have.